Well, on the upside, at least I finished training before 10 p.m. on a Friday night. Uh, the downside is it uh, <laughs> doesn't get any easier. Yes, I am lying down. And uh, I've tried to be a little more economical with, uh, with my heat by the time my hair up, I'm wearing a headband so I don't drip so much, but it, it, it hasn't really helped. So it's four weeks today. And uh, feel uh, I feel a lot better than I did this time last week. This is the, the sort of second video diary, and I think a lot of that is to do with the fact that today we leapt in the sponsorship from uh, just under four and a half thousand to just under six and a half thousand. We we raised two thousand pounds in one day. It's just it's brilliant. It really is, and is a massive motivator for me because. It, it just shows that people are um, getting behind what it's about, uh, who it's for, and it, it's working. Like I said, we've got uh, four weeks today, and we want to try and have £40,000 raised for Calm by the end of Rockstop Weekend. So we're talking uh, about five and a half weeks, and it's very doable. Uh, four weeks today, I'm going to start the uh, just short of 1,100 mile bike ride starting in London, going to be visiting various rock venues and places of rock interest along the way. And the idea is I've got to get a proof of life when I'm there, photograph, quick video, something like that. And in chronological order, they are London Wembley Arena, Nottingham Rock City, Sheffield City Hall and the Yorkshireman Arms Rock Pub, which is right opposite it. The blue plaque at Leeds University, which celebrates uh, The Who recording live at Leeds there. Trillions Rock Bar in Newcastle and then straight to Newcastle City Hall early evening because Blackstone Cherry are playing there that night and whilst I'm not going to be able to see the gig, to be able to see them of course who are headlining Rockstock and Chris Robertson the singer whose battles with depression and suicidal tendencies are well documented over the last few years. Uh, then to Bannermans in, in uh, Edinburgh, King Tut's in Glasgow, the Manchester Apollo uh, the Cabin Club and the Swan Inn in Liverpool, and then obviously finishing up at Treco Bay for Rockstock, and it's going to be one hell of a journey. Uh, if you can spread the word about the charity, it's as much about awareness, as I've said before, as as is fundraising. Uh, we've raised at least six and a half thousand pounds so far, and we're going to be heading towards forty thousand pounds hopefully in the next sort of five and a half weeks. And obviously, the charity is aimed at trying to drive down. The male suicide rates in under 45, which statistically, surprisingly, is the biggest killer in this country of men of that age. So I'm going to try and help as many people as possible if you want to try and help. Like I said, it's not about just trying to give money to the charity, just spreading the word. Because so many people weren't aware of this service and have said they didn't know it existed and they wish they did. Now they know it, it, it does. They can use it and they can talk, which is what we obviously want. So uh, if you can share the pages, if you can post, repost, that'd be great. The sponsorship page, if you want to have a look at it, it's got all the details on there, is www.justgiving.com forward slash road to rockstock 2016. So www.justgiving.com forward slash road to rockstock 2016. And as of the last two days, the full route with the timetable has been published. So you can see exactly where I'm going to be riding on this near 1,100 mile UK tour and you can see the rough times are going to be going past possibly your village, town or street. So I'm feeling a lot better. I'm absolutely knackered. This uh, this shirt, my t-shirt was light purple when I started. It's absolutely drenched. I need a shower and I need a rest. And thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and uh, let's crack on and do the best we can. Have a great weekend and I'll see you for Video Diary 3 in the next few days.